365 days of horsemanship, day 131 and 132. Um, two pretty nice days, actually. Um, I really should have videoed yesterday. <clears throat> so I honestly can't really remember that much of what I did, um, which is kind of frustrating. But I was like super tired yesterday and it was really late and I'd done my long shift. Um, I just didn't feel like I had it in me, but I've learned my lesson definitely um, because today I'm annoyed now. Um, and once I get into them, I start talking, you know, I don't even notice it. So... So what I can remember of yesterday, uh, day 131, uh, I came up, uh, I came to Lawrence first. Um, I had quite a good massaging day with him yesterday. And he'd come, he came right down from the top of the hill, which was lovely. And I thought to myself when he came up, that this is probably to do with me having fed him a few times um, over the last few days. Um, and so I wasn't sure if sometimes he'll do this thing where, like as I'm coming up to him, if he's thinking about food, he'll come up in my direction, because obviously I'm in the direction of the feed pens, but then he'll just like walk straight past me um, and come and stand at the pens and sort of wait and look confused before he'll actually kind of come and be with me. And he didn't do that. I, I tried really hard to kind of mirror him as he was walking towards me, um, but sort of complimentary. Um, so rather than like directly walking towards him, I, I kind of like almost like a dance. I was like mirroring him. So like walking towards him, but like if he was like slightly turned out this way, then I was like slightly turned out that way. And we were just like walking in the same general direction. And then when his neck would move, but I would turn my head and my shoulders as well. And and it was nice because it felt like we sort of like snaky zigzagged our way and he really caught me he really found me he was like no no i want to come and see you and so that was really lovely um yeah there was a lot of i feel like i i feel like i'm sort of just being able generally to read more of the situation with the horses um there's like i can read now when like this herd situation is happening or like I'm more aware of this or of that or like you know if the other horses are moving then I'm more aware of that and you know, I'm usually late still like I'm usually like a beat late with a lot of stuff um but actually better late than never is really true and I think in the past I used to think to myself afterwards oh I really should have done x there um or this there or that there and then not do it because I like had realized too late Whereas actually I'm finding that if you if I do it um, after, like even if it's late, as soon as like I realize, it's like the muscle memory and it really helps me to remember for next time, which I didn't really realize at the time. Um, so that's really good. Uh, and I definitely felt like generally that I was doing quite well. I'm trying to, I think I'm generally noticing with Lawrence and with Mia as well a little bit as well, that a lot of the session now is basically him arriving and us doing scratching and massaging um because that's what he wants to do um, and me just basically wanting to keep hey buddy just come over to say hey um be careful of your feet please because i'm barefoot and you have shoes on um yeah i know <laughs> i wasn't really sure how this was gonna work out here's lawrence being demanding um be careful of your feet. Thank you. Um, and because of this, this scratching thing, it, you know, I think it's supportive leadership. Yes, my feet, they're barefoot, I know. Um, because of this scratching thing, um, like it is supportive leadership because I'm not in flow with him, but um, I also feel like, I don't know, it's not really... It is supportive, but it's, you know, so I'm not really in flow. Um, and then it's sort of like finding that good balance. Um, this is a very, very chaotic vlog. Sorry, everybody. We've come to stand, sit the other side of the fence because, you know, boundaries. Um, yeah, like finding the right balance between what he wants to do and what I want to do. And remembering that, like, yes, it's all about freedom, but it's also 
like wants to be progressive because at some point he will get bored of the itching and the massaging it's definitely happened before um and so i'm trying wherever i can and it really is like almost like once or twice a session I'll be able either to like, he'll be walking towards me because he'll want something. Um, and I can tell that he's asking me to massage somewhere, but then instead of giving him the massage straight away, I'll just yield to the way that he's moving. And you can see that it's sort of like annoying him a little bit, but he's also interested in the fact that he can move me. Um, and I'm sort of hoping that as I play that game, just every now and again, interspersed with, you know, things that he really likes, um, that that will become more interesting to him and he'll enjoy it more. Um, and then, I'm trying at least once every session. I didn't today um, just because, I don't know, the session seemed a bit different today, but um, I'm trying every day also to ask him for uh, some sort of focus change around me touching his, um, his chest because that's where I want the yield point for backwards, which is the first yield that I want to teach him because he has so much forwards and he falls forward with everything. Um, so the backwards is really what I want to teach him first. So it was a good day yesterday. Um, today with Lawrence, uh, he's just was finishing eating when I came up and, um, and that was really nice too, because I was able to just let him out. There was some hay that had just been put out. There's a new horse next door. So there are a few things going on and it was nice just to kind of follow today, really. Um, I just followed around like being in supportive leadership and walking until I had the place of flow and then just being in flow with him. Um, and then pretty quickly he would find something else to do and I could follow him there. And his movements were pretty predictable most of the time. So I was just able to kind of be in flow with him just very easy going lots of distance work a little bit of he did he would then he would come over like every now and again um like every few minutes like he'd do this and then he'd eat a little bit and then he'd look at the herd and then he'd move to a different patch of hay and then he might walk over to me and ask me for a little bit of massage um, and today rather than doing like the real scratchy like deep tissue massage he did more of like a sort of soft light like sort of not quite stroking like a massage but it just more just calm and relaxed is what I was offering him really today because I didn't want to get involved in these really like deep tissue massages today um yeah and it was it was good it was nice it was just a really easy session I'm gonna have to go home um in a few minutes because I gotta go to work today um and I definitely on the way up I was feeling frustrated about not having more time today and I was debating whether I should come later on but I'm finishing work at 9 p.m and even though I do like the I do enjoy coming at the end of the day because I feel like my time is limitless um I also feel like ultimately it's just also nicer to be here in the day um and today I did have nice sessions with both of them and I am happy that I came short but nice uh, with Mia um definitely it's been really consistent the last week or so this engagement with me for scratches and I'm really happy with it like I feel like with Mia we're a couple of steps behind Lawrence um with Lawrence it's like we have lots of love for the scratching and like guaranteed engagement every day that I come to see him now and it seems like our sessions are sort of that our sessions end when I decide that they end with Lawrence Whereas with me, it's like we're a couple of steps behind. We've only just started learning about the scratching. So I'm being slightly more, I'm giving slightly more of an allowance of how demanding I'll allow her to be with that. Um, she's not allowed to push me, but I'm still slightly more allowing of, of her than I am of Lawrence because I, I want her to look for that comfort. I want her to feel like she can come to me and ask for comfort. Um, so I'm not being as refined with Lawrence if he pushes me really at all um I will move now um and I'll do my little circle and come back um because I just want him to just feel really polite about it and I also want to just you know that that push that little bit of fight is is concern you know I don't want him to be so concerned about the having enough scratches um whereas with Mia it's like we're kind of only just started so I feel like I want to encourage her to do that um not to be concerned but just to be engaged um, whatever engagement means for her. Um, and it also, I feel like with Mia that where with Lawrence, the, the sessions are sort of endless with Mia, she pretty much decides when they end. And she definitely did that with me today, which was really interesting. Um, I came in at the gate and she was actually standing there just by chance anyway, um, eating. Um, and so I walked straight kind of through her and moon dust. I didn't want to get stuck playing near the gate because that is a whole concern in itself. Cause she'd like to leave there. 
um, and she followed me, which was really nice. Um, and definitely there's some engagement there that hasn't been there before, which was really super. Um, and yeah, we were able to have a nice session, a little bit of scratches, um, a little bit of walking around. And then I got to a point where I felt like I was walking a lot and nothing was really happening. Um, and she wasn't making any more focus changes. And that's the time when I realized the session was over. Um, at that point, I was able to then do one of her plats, which was really nice. Um, and yeah, it was a good end to, it was a good end to the session. Um, I felt like she had ended the session then when she was no longer wanting to engage with me, I was able to do some of my own self-focus, something that was important to me and do one of her plats, which worked really well. Um, yeah. So all in all, it was pretty good session, even though it was pretty short. Um, yeah. Looking forward to tomorrow.